Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerky and welcome to Sims 4 House Tour Trailer Park Treasure. Now, this is a trailer park submitted by my friend Marzi Meows, and that might sound familiar because, of course, I have toured some of her homes before. Now, this one she sent me, she actually built for a friend who wanted kind of like a trashy trailer park for her game. So, she asked me to tour it, and I will start off just by reading you the description. Um, Okay, so it's made for a family of two parents and four kids, and she says make sure to use the move objects cheat before placing. Uh, she play tested it, and the bunk beds do work, so we'll make sure to have my Sims check that out for you guys. The yard has many things, including an above ground pool that is in quotation marks, a hot tub, a fire pit. Or, you know what? We'll see all this, but there, <laughs> there's also a tree with dragon fruits. Wait, is it a tree? I don't know. She said there's dragon fruit on the property, which can be quite lucrative. Uh, you could definitely sell that for, for many simoleons and a flea market table in the front, which I can already see. This is really exciting. Um, and there's an upstairs. So I don't want to read the entire description because I don't want to give it all away. So let's go ahead and tour this trailer park. Oh, and I created some randomly generated sims, so they're going to be running around too. <laughs> All right, so here we are checking out the property, and um, the sims are going to be running around. I'm going to keep it on play instead of paused, which I usually do, so that we can really get a feel for the place. Uh, so this is a flea market table, which is really cool. I actually haven't had a chance to play with uh, much of city living yet, so the fact that this is here is awesome that I get to see it. We have the spinning flower, um, I almost called them treadmills, windmills, and gnome, a garden gnome, and some furniture, uh, lots of overgrown flowers. There's another little gnome hiding out in the bushes over here. And then I guess this is the above ground pool. I don't know why that was in quotes. It actually looks pretty, pretty cool. I mean, not bad, not bad. Um, I like it. I would love to have a pool like this. It's, it's pretty big for a trailer park. In fact, it's almost as big as the house. Well, maybe not. It's a pretty big, pretty big trailer, house trailer. I used to live in one, but mine was pretty small. Um, <laughs> and oh gosh, one thing I love about Marzi's videos or not videos, houses, I make the videos, um, is that they're so realistic, like the dirt under the jungle gym and then like the little air conditioned unit out here. It's just, she puts such amazing little touches that make it look so, so, so realistic. And there's a little bonfire pit here. Oh, this little wooden, I'm sure you can sit on it. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. I didn't even know that was in the game. That's probably from the outdoor retreat thingy. Um, back here we have, this is horseshoes, I would imagine. Yeah. And you know what? Let's get some Sims out here. Let's play, um, let's bring them both out here. So we have, um, Ava, I think Ava. Does it tell me? I don't know. And <laughs> Christy and Norman. Again, they were just randomly generated to help me tour this house here. And then there is a hot tub, which oh, everybody knows how much I love my hot tubs. You cannot watch any of my series and not know that I am completely obsessed with hot tubs. And I wish I had one in real life. And oh, look, there's even a park back here. Well, this is not part of the build. I just placed the house here. And I forgot what town this is. The main town. Willow Creek. <laughs> um... But yeah, this was actually a good place to place it. <laughs> so I thought they were going to play horseshoes, but it looks like they're just kind of dilly-dallying. And is this the welcome wagon already? Oh, I got to get my cheats window out of there. Sorry. You know what? We'll let them We'll let them do what they want to do. <laughs> I don't want to bother the Sims. Uh, I definitely want to keep touring this. So over on the side, we have a, a porch. I like the trellis with the, the plants on top. Oh, and I like the garden hose. Like just such realistic touches, Marzi. Such a good job. Um, we have a, a little seating area over here with some mismatched chairs on this side and the crate table, which I love the little crate end table. And let's go ahead, let's go ahead and go. Well, there's a little bit of landscaping over here, a flamingo. We'll see what's on this side. Probably not much. And then we'll go inside. Yeah, not much. Um, Again, just more things that make it look so realistic. And then it looks like we have the stairs outdoors that go upstairs. So we'll, we'll check those out. We'll check those out in a minute. Oh, whoop, whoop. Okay. <laughs> going through the front door or the side door, maybe the only door. Going through the door, going through the door. And whoa, I can see in here already. All right, man, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. She said she said it was a bit run down, so 
Uh, I imagine that's what we'll see. I imagine the counters already look kind of kind of old, like the paint is peeling. Um, I have the green, oh, the green stove that looks like it's completely rotting, and the green coffee maker, definitely uh, things you would see in an older home. And the counters, yeah, the counters are all dinged up. Um, we have plenty, this looks, this looks like a trailer. It looks like a trailer I used to live in. We had like this weird seating that, I don't know. It's the, yeah, this, good job. <laughs> oh my gosh. The, is that a microphone? I never know what the heck that is. Um, we have a cow on the wall, which is great. Um, folding chairs, of course. This place is definitely run down, but I like it. I would totally live here. <laughs> I don't, I don't require much, much, um, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with whatever. <laughs> um, we've got a, oh, cool. The cabinets look like a built-in unit for the TV over here. We've got a guitar down on the floor, um, a bookcase, even the doors all dinged up. This is really cool. I'm sure a lot of the stuff is from city living, I would imagine. Um, whoops. What's over here? A little keyboard piano thingy, some family photos on the wall. And then we have this mystery door. Let's go through and see what we find. And oh, it's a hallway. Oh, it's a very long, narrow hallway. And this wood paneling reminds me of the trailer I used to live in. Um, <laughs> definitely, definitely. There was lots of wood paneling. It was a 70s one. And here is the bathroom. I'm sure there's more bathrooms, hopefully. Oh my gosh, even the little drain under the bath. <sighs> Marcy, you are a genius. You're a genius. All right. So we have the double sinks in here and the toilet and the tub shower combo, some blinds on the window. And is that a bunny? A little bunny picture over there. <laughs> I'll go back into the hallway and we'll go to the room directly across the hall. And it's a, well, obviously a kid's bedroom, I would hope. Um, <laughs> we have the dinosaur stuffed animal. We have the little light that keeps, helps keep the monsters under the bed away. Um, some audio, some posters on the wall. Over on this side, this is the bunk beds that she created. I'm going to get out of camera mode because it's kind of weird. Um, whoa. Okay. Wow. Yeah, she made these bunk beds. Obviously, they're, I don't think there's bunk beds in The Sims 4, so it looks really cool. I need to get a sim in here to have them tested out, and I said I was playing, but somehow I paused it. Um, let's get a sim over here and a sim up here and see, see how this goes. Okay, sorry, The Sims were not listening to me. I had to fast forward, but I have one in the bottom bed, and then hopefully this sad sad lady um christy was that her name i don't even remember she's supposed to come get on this top bed so let's see let's see if she actually does there we go so do they just like teleport up there oh okay that's really cool really cool so the bunk beds do work i like it where are you going you can't fit up there too <laughs> uh we have a little shelf on the side with some toys on it which is awesome and then this giant decal that just uh reminds me of a transformer i don't know if that's what it's supposed to be all right i'm gonna get back into camera mode and go check out one of the other rooms now all right back in the hallway it looks like norman went in this one so we'll just go ahead and follow him and oh okay it's like a laundry room that's pretty cool like a utility slash laundry uh -huh. room. Um, we have the drain on the floor. Is that a drain or a vent? I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. And he's working on something. Oh, I don't know what all these objects are. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, there is, there's some more random thingies over here. It looks like a control panel. And she said one of these is supposed to look like a, um, like a, a washer or dryer. Oh, this. Okay. So she like placed a sink inside of the counter to make it look like a washer and dryer or a washer, I guess the dryer. Oh. You'd probably dry the clothes outside oh. unless this is supposed to be the dryer. I don't know. Obviously Sims 4 doesn't have laundry. So she got very creative here. We have the utility sink as well. And yeah, I guess this is wood cutting, wood shop. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Wood shop. Wood. I, I stuff, stuff, stuff. I don't know, but he's just hitting it with a knife or something but that's okay that's all right let's go ahead and go on to the next room <laughs> all right back down the hallway there's so many rooms here um the angles are kind of weird so i'm just going to pop into the rooms and then just show you from there all right so here we have another bathroom just a small bathroom with a toilet um the double sinks and the tub shower combo it looks a lot like the other bathroom it's just i guess i don't know 
I guess they just use the same building materials. And then over across the hallway here, it is across the hallway. It looks like it glitched, but that was because, um, because the hallway is so narrow. So sorry about that. All right. So here's one of the bedrooms. I assume this is the master bedroom, mom and dad's room. Um, oh, the closet. What do we, what? I didn't even know we had a closet like this. Is this, I don't know. This is so cool. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna have to play with my game more and see what I could find. But yeah, that closet's really cool. We have the double bed over here. Um, the trunk side table again, totally something I would do. Maybe, maybe I'm trailer trash, but <laughs> totally totally live here and then there is a door that goes outside to um what is this oh this is like that back porch that goes upstairs we'll go upstairs in a minute let's just keep keep touring the inside i think there's one more bedroom oh and over here this must be the ensuite bathroom and what oh no that goes back to the hallway this is the ensuite bathroom. Sorry, I'm, oh my gosh, I'm all over the place. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna do aerial view just because, it, again, it's small. We have some cabinets here, double sink. Is this one I was just in? I don't even know. I fail. Ignore me, ignore me. And over here we have a office or a computer room, it looks like. Uh, I guess a little bit of both, like an art room and a computer room. There is obviously a computer over here. I like how she created all these built-in units um, using the the counters, which it looks like maybe some of it some of it is um, what's that cheat that makes them go higher? Uh, you guys know what I'm talking about to stack them on top of each other and it looks very realistic because again the trailer that I used to live in definitely had a lot of these like built-in units in it um, built-in shelving and stuff so just that really cool attention to detail and then here's the little art area very cute with the bulletin board on the side and then i believe we still have one more bedroom again i'm gonna go kind of aerial to find it all right here it is i totally missed it it was right in the middle but um yeah this looks more more like another kid's room i think it said it can fit two adults and four kids so yeah the one room had two bunk beds and this one has two bunk beds i assume they work the same way um it's it's really cool the way that she built them makes them look completely real really realistic i love it very nice very nice all right so now i'm going to do a shot of the entire floor plan not exit the game. Whoops. <laughs> and then we'll go, we'll go check out the upstairs. So yeah, you can see how like turned around I got in that little narrow hallway trying to go through camera view. Um, but we first came in right here. This is a living room, um, living, dining, kitchen combo, kind of an open floor plan. And then over here are the two kids bedrooms, the two bathrooms, laundry, the office, and then the, the master suite right here. So now let's go ahead and check out the upstairs, which you go out these, um, you could go out the door from the master bedroom or you could come straight from the ba backyard to go up. All right. And this just takes us to, oh, I guess it's a cool little like rooftop deck. Oh, wait, there's a boat. Do you see the boat? Boat, boat, boat. Sorry. You probably couldn't see that. I think my face cam is covering it. Sorry. Um, distraction. <laughs> Anyways, there is a table, a gaming table with some folding chairs, um, a bar. Of course, you got to have a bar with the lights. <laughs> <laughs> the little stereo up there and another art area. This is so cool. I'm really, really loving this trailer. It's supposed to look trashy and <laughs> I don't know. I like it though. Like I said, I would freaking live here. I would totally freaking live here. <laughs> um, but anyways, that's it. That's it for the tour. I'll do kind of an overall again so you can see the yard and everything. And Marzi, great job as always. Your, um, your builds always impress me zoom in over here. <laughs> Got a sim on the toilet back there. But yes, your builds always impress me. Very good job. Very good attention to detail. You are so good at this that you inspire me to want to build more. And I I love this trailer. Maybe, ooh, ooh, would you guys want to see me rehab it? Even though I think it looks awesome as is, would you want to see me do like kind of a, a remodel and redecorate it like a renovation? Hmm. Hmm. If you guys want to see that, please let me know. I would love to do that, of course, with Marzi's approval. Um, and you guys can download this. She is so cool. Of course, she uploaded it to the gallery. So you guys can go ahead and download it. Check out her other builds, which I highly, highly recommend you do. And of course, that will all be linked in the description below. Um, 
I feel like there should be more to this outro. What am I? Oh my gosh, I haven't done one of these in a while. Oh, yes. Yes. If you want me to tour one of the houses or trailers or restaurants or anything that you've built, all you have to do is find me on any of the social medias. Just look for Simmerkey. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, obviously YouTube, obviously, or you can email me at the Simmerkey at gmail.com. There is a way to also message me directly through YouTube or just comment below and I'll find you. I'll find you. Um, and I would love to tour your house on this channel. It could be Sims 3 or Sims 4. Does does not matter. I have all the stuff packs and expansion packs. I just do not use custom content. So please no custom content in your builds um, and try to keep store content from Sims 3 Limited because that gets a little, uh, gets a little weird. Um, <laughs> zooming on Norman over here. He totally doesn't know what he's doing, but he's trying. He's trying. Um, <laughs> I guess that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. That's super important. That helps me grow. That gives me validation that what I'm doing is entertaining. I hope. I hope. Otherwise, you probably you wouldn't be watching this long for the super long outro. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, that's, 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 that's it. That's it. That's it. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!